Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dean Hop Realtor. Well, today I'm out in Bolverde, Texas, just off 281. And to let you know kind of where we are, Bornfeld Road is just barely to our south, where communities like Highland Estates and Kinder Ranch are. Um, this community is kind of a really small community. It's called Castle Rock. And it's you literally have to go through the entrance of the DR Horton community to get to here, but you don't go all the way into the D.O. Horton one. It's, you just take a left turn right after you go through the entrance. Uh, so it's just one stretch of road that's got some really beautiful homes in it. The house behind us was built in 2007 by one of my favorite custom home builders, Robert Custom Homes. It is, it's a big one, 5,848 square feet. It is a four bedroom, five bath, five and a half bath. It's got a beautiful pool. Well, let's, let's go see it for ourselves. Let's go check this out. Definitely got a Spanish influence. You see the Spanish tile, the rock stucco combo. This house is actually on five acres. Um, the water source is well, so they've got a well on it already and a nice water retention tank. You, If you listen closely, you can hear some road noise from 281 on the front side of the house, but you're not gonna hear it from the back side. Lots and lots of circular driveway space here you do have a three-car garage in the main house and another two-car garage slash shed you can use on additional side and you can see my truck tucked away in the corner behind there so parking is not going to be an issue in this house but uh yeah it's just really beautiful it's kind of a unique house um as i mentioned it's built in 2007 so it's not gonna be as wide open as some of these luxury farmhouses I've been touring, but uh, hey, if this house uh, checks off what you're looking for, feel free to reach out to me. All right, let's head on inside. Before we do go out, I do wanna point out these doors. Uh, they got a little mini casita built in there, so if you have an extended family living, I'm gonna show you the inside of this room soon, but separate entrance to a whole other living space. It's just a bedroom and a full bath, but it's nice to have that separate doors. All right, I do have my lovely assistant, Miss Amy, with us today. She's going to be helping us on this tour. Now, right when you come in, you can't help but notice just how grand this entry space is. I'm not real sure what you would do with this space besides making it just a neat little sitting area because it's not big enough for a living area and there's other spaces for that. Oh, what is that? The fireplace go through the wall. It does go through the wall, doesn't it? That's kind of cool, huh? So it goes into another small room, which if I were living here, I'd probably make that other room into an office. But I just want to show you the architecture of this house and just the grandness of it. It's just really big and cool. And if you can see that little bitty baby fan, I've noticed a couple of them. It's kind of interesting. But you can tell they had a TV up on this wall. It could use a little fresh coat of paint. But uh, we do have the owner suite back this way. I'm definitely going to save that one for last. But I will show you this little other room that I would... Oh, well, I see my daughter threw her toy through the fireplace. I would add a little more lighting, maybe brighten up the colors in here, and then turn this into an office. But wow. I mean, I've, I've lived in Europe before and they use these uh, definitely kind of a Gothic chapel, cathedral type thing in there, look in that ceiling, so it's kind of cool. But yes, this fireplace does go all the way through, got some built-ins, but yeah, this would be perfect if you had uh, a desk right here and just brighten up the colors a little bit and be a perfect little office. All right, like I mentioned before, I want to end with the owner suite because that bathroom is pretty neat. But let me go show you the main living space right now. Just a really cool flooring. And these upgraded shutters are throughout the house. Let me just let you soak in this staircase. Amy. Sorry, my daughter's now playing with the shutters. I'm like, no, we're not here to play with all the shutters. All right, we do have a full bathroom uh, kind of separating these two rooms. 
The shower, the, there is a full mud inset shower here, but the light's out. But that is a kind of cool shower, and they got the towel going all the way up. All right, this is a neat bathroom. It's a little dark, but a fresh coat of paint could go, could go a long way. Amy, what do you think about that sink right there? It's really cool. It adds a really cool pop of color to the bathroom. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. I love her so much. Anyways, like I said, the house, remember this house was built in 2007. The beige and earth tones were really in back then, but just lighting this up can transform this whole place. But the bones of this house are pretty spectacular. Checking out this kitchen, it's really cool. And let me give you a panoramic of the whole living space before we talk about the kitchen a little more. Perfect little, I love this window and the view of the pool. Perfect place for your dining room table right here in this nook, this little space. And plenty of space to put your couches and however you want to set it up. But let's check out this kitchen a little bit. This is a wolf uh, cooktop. They're one of the tops in the area. I mean, it's hard to beat wolf. Got this nice little grill space and a griddle space. So very nice. Does have your pot filler. An interesting granite. Like I said, it's a little dated. It's from 2007 and the stainless steel sink. And you can see why I'm a big fan of granite because yeah, after a couple years, stainless steel does get a little scratched up. But it does have your own water filter right there and it's just beautiful. We do have some nice built-in ovens and a beautiful built-in microwave. That's really nice. But check out this refrigerator. This is a big, big industrial refrigerator. I've already checked, so there's nothing really inside, but wow, that's kind of neat. And then there's the freezer and the ice maker there. No water dispenser here, but they have that built into the sink. All right, just a few minutes ago, I was talking about that Casita extra space. This is that room, so perfect for that mother-in-law suite, good size room, tall ceilings. Like I said, definitely would recommend kind of freshening up the colors. I say that, but my own house that I live in has pretty much the same colors, doesn't it, Amy? <laughs> I do need to re-update my colors in my house. All right, this is the full bathroom. You do have a good jacuzzi style, oh, it's a jacuzzi brand, bathtub with jets. It's all a little vanity, sorry, I didn't realize I missed the lights. Okay, maybe I didn't miss them. They're just not working. But uh, full, a good shower, a mud inset shower, so they could be able to step down. Big closet. And a big closet, that's right. So yeah, if you have that, if you're trying to do a little multi-gen housing situation, first floor, you can definitely put someone, use this. They'd have their own entry. And the only thing it's missing is a kitchen. Get a little kitchenette in there, but they can come out right here. All right, let's go and keep exploring. This is the laundry room. In the comments, let me know what you think of this lawn, this color. Huh. We all make choices, that's all I'm gonna say. But don't, if you wanted to buy this house, don't go, I don't like the color of the washer and dryer or the cabinets. Small things can be fixed. But that's a big full-size laundry room. This is going into the garage. They, this is a three car garage that they've done some conversions to. Uh, has a sink in here. And I'm only guessing, but I think they were using this as a full real office. If you're running a small company or something and want to have your own little office space, because I could see little spots where they had other desks sitting here. They've got it carpeted, air conditioned, and uh, insulated the door. So you can tell somebody in this house was using this as a small business. 
which is not a bad setup. Well, don't know what that was, but you do have, you've got plenty of parking spaces because you still have this two and a half car garage on this side and another two car garage parking. All right, let's continue the tour. All right, we're gonna go through here because this house just keeps curving around. I mentioned this is a big, big house. 5,848 square feet big. But these windows, oh, Amy, can you shut that door? We're gonna go out there in a second, but I don't wanna waste their air conditioning. Another fireplace in this living area. Can't have a house this size without a little bar section. So we do have that, a neat little bar, place for a couple of wine bottles. So yeah, if I had a house this big, I'm definitely doing some entertaining in it. Speaking of entertaining, this would be the game room area. If you wanna do a pool table, foosball table, whatever type of space you want to use this, because they have a movie room, of course. Now, I've mentioned before, I have my own projector and stuff and set this up. These guys decided to go a different route instead of building their own screen, they just painted the wall white and framed it out. But based on the size of this room, I would definitely at a minimum put the edge of the screen going up to these built-in speakers. So they've already got the projector mount done. And the popcorn. Yes, they do have a popcorn machine. I don't know if that's gonna come with the house or not. But it's carpeted, so definitely does a good job of trying to keep that sound in if you're really making the movie boom. You don't want the whole rest of the house be mad at you. Trust me, I know. All right, off this game room, you do have a full powder room. There we go. So you do have a nice little powder room set up. And everywhere from this house, we've got views of this pool. And I think now is a good time to go check out this outdoor living space. Uh, th this outdoor area is pretty impressive. All right, right off the bat, you can see you have an outdoor fireplace, which we don't get, most of the time, I always gotta talk about the snow vid that happened this past February. We don't get super cold, just a few days where we get below freezing at all. But on those chilly nights, it's nice to have that outdoor fireplace. And uh, they do have a outdoor TV, which, ah, I'm sorry, stepped back and just stepped on my daughter. You okay? Yeah. Okay. But definitely would be upgrading to a little bit bigger outdoor TV. But you do have a beautiful outdoor cooking air space. See, they got a little sink area. All this can be cleaned up. Nice little, or not even little, that's a big cook uh, grill. But let's check out this pool. Yes, that is a beautiful pool. We've got a walk in and it's got a basketball hoop, got a jumping Yeah. She does, she's not mic'd up, so I don't know if you can hear her describing the pool, but it does have a gentle slope going down to these steps. Very nice. I was looking to see if this was a Keith Zarr pool because, yep, I was like, that looks like his thing. So yes, this is a Keith Zarr pool. It is one of the top high-end pool manufacturers in the area. Nice waterfall feature. Got a, even got a water slide back there. And of course, you gotta have your hot tub. And a basketball hoop, yes. But this is on five acres, so the property does extend back. Uh, they've got a neat little pirate ship on there. My daughter kind of went out there and discovered that there's some wasp in it. There's a whole wasp nest. <laughs> She's like, there's a whole wasp nest. But uh, yeah, that's something we definitely could get these sellers to clear up before selling it. But you see, you do have three, uh, air conditioning units out here and they're very quiet and I like the fact they have them tucked around the side of the house to where you're not interfering with the sound quality of your outdoor space. 
back over here that little small building that's going to be your well and a little water retention tank and they got a little built-in garden stuff set up over there Daddy. so hold on there's yes there's there are probably some deer back there amy um and i mentioned earlier that you could hear highway 281 from the front side of the house you cannot hear it from the back side of the house so that's really where you want your quietness is in the back side all right let's go back on inside and uh check out the rest of this house we haven't even been upstairs well my daughter's like let's go upstairs your favorite part is upstairs all right now let's head up these stairs these stairs are pretty darn impressive all right up you go oh the pantry yeah let's, oh no this isn't the pantry this is the giant Harry Potter room. this thing goes back here quite a ways it's so there she is it's a new Harry Potter room and I love it mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah let's head a neat little spot if you want to put some type of work of art on a pedestal that's a perfect place for it but these stairs they are just impressive i know i showed them earlier all right little miss amy head up them stairs these stairs would definitely keep you in shape because there's a few more of them just based on the height of this upstairs space. So you do have two bedrooms upstairs, a nice little uh, common space area. I want to show the view from up top here. Can you see that? Oh, the door's open down there. Yeah. All right, we're going to shut that in a second. All right. But you have a really neat little balcony space. You can play on the roof. No, you cannot play on the roof. Do not listen to my daughter, people on YouTube. Do not get on that roof. That is not safe to do. <laughs> All right, but this gives you another better view of this outdoor living space. This is a, is a great place to come just have a cup of coffee, though. All right. I mentioned we do have these two bedrooms up here and trust me we will get to the owner suite soon okay my daughter's directing me where I need to be going with these videos now you can tell they did have kids in this house. oh my daughter said they painted this beautifully I love it I know you do it's part of the house uh-huh and there must have been some sort of swing up there because there's a hook yeah a little basket or something and put all your stuffies in but you do have your own little little mini balcony. It's kind of small. Yeah, but if you're trying to get a cup, a little fresh air. I don't know if anybody smokes cigarettes anymore, but if you lived here and had that. But you can definitely see some of the Texas Hill Country views out the front of this. Beautiful. And both of these rooms do have their own bathrooms. Yes, they put a chalkboard in there. All right. Big closet. Yep, big closet. Uh, big full shower in here, so that's really neat. And a giant closet. Uh, they did a little custom work in there, trying to get a little creative with the closet space. All right, Amy, I know you're excited to show off this other room too. Shower or go. No, don't go shutting the door on me. I'm just gonna come in. All right, tell me what you like about the blue room so much. Uh, it's a little cave, isn't it? Yeah, my daughter's happy. She's got her own little cave space in there. <laughs> She's a nut. This is the second tour we've done today. I think she's getting a little tired. All right, but this is a big, big room. And of course, they've done with a blue and white theme. Neat little chart, I mean, uh, chalkboard. What does that say? I can't 
can't really see it. So I'm panicking for, I don't know, rainbows. I don't know. Look at the stars, yeah. Okay. But I don't want to waste all the time trying to figure out their handwriting there. But this room here also has its own full bathroom. Well, with big shower, uh, good sized countertops, water closet, and, and another big interesting closet. And there's hooks over here. Mm-hmm, the different hooks. Mm -hmm. And this is all can be converted. You do have your bars down here for hanging clothes. It's just, uh, you can transform this closet into whatever needs you might have. All right, we're finally gonna get downstairs and check out the owner suite and the really super cool shower setup they have. So let's head down these big, beautiful stairs. All right, we're now down the stairs. That's the main living space. We're coming back up to the entry rooms. A little sitting room here right in front of the main door. Your office space, where what I would make it into my office space. And now we're coming into the owner suite wing of this house. This is, would be the bedroom. It is really big. That chirping is because their smoke detector battery is dead and they're trying to let you know. But uh, neat can lighting throughout. Perfect place to put your bed right here. And then having another little sitting area looking out these beautiful seamless windows uh, or frameless windows and still having access to the pool from your bedroom. So that's kind of neat. All right, you want to show off this bathroom so bad, don't you? All right, this, this does have a little chiller, drink chiller there, because this is a perfect place for your little coffee bar set up so you don't have to go too far from your bedroom, but two giant custom closets. I wouldn't say giant, but because there's two of them, you're gonna have no problem uh, filling these up. So this is one closet, your coffee nook area, and then you come into the bathroom. It's awesome! Now my daughter approves. She likes this bathroom. It does have a speaker system set up in it. All right, we're coming back there. There's a double shower. A double shower. You've got your wand and two heads, and this thing goes all the way up to where they have a light burned out. But this is a big, beautiful shower. I'm glad to see a shower of this magnitude in a house of this magnitude. Oh, huh? don't know. Turns operates different shower heads. All right, we do have double vanities, big framed mirrors, little makeup sit station, and this is the other closet. Huge. Yes. I got a big mirror. You got a big check yourself mirror. So yes, this is a big, beautiful house. Another one of those little baby fans. It's just interesting. Lots of baby fans. Mm-hmm. All right, definitely like this bathroom a lot. And of course, another door heading outside. All right, let's go back to the main living area. Give you one last look around. Before we wrap this exceedingly long video, because I apologize, and I, if you've watched this video for this long, I definitely appreciate it. Um, because yeah, this is a big house and it's a lot to cover. And I really do try to do detailed tours of these houses. All right, let's go wrap tour of this big, beautiful home built by Robert Custom Homes in 2007. And it's a really convenient community to both the Texas Hill Country and the greater San Antonio area because this is right where 
The new highway expansion is going to be finishing up just about a mile south of us. So getting from this part of uh, the area to anything you want in the greater San Antonio area to include the airport is just at your fingertips. All right, if you like this very long video, this big, beautiful house, feel free to hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And as always, make sure you share them with your friends. I am a real estate agent trying to grow my business using these videos. And if you're looking for a house in this uh, area, feel free to reach out to me because it costs you nothing to use a realtor to buy a house. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.